In this video training session, we will be discussing about editing dimensions and different techniques and also the parametric constant which is very very important that also we will look into. So when you talk about editing di dimensions, different uh, ways are there which you can use. So in this first example, I will show you how you can edit the dimensions. If let us say this is the dimensions which we are expecting and we want to use. So this was the original object. So what you directly you can do is you can use the stretch principle. So you directly you go for st enter stretch sorry s enter and you specify the kernel which we are interested to stretch specify the point then the new definition point which you would like to have that may be 2.75 or anything once you click it that will be updated to this new definition this is one very simple way which you use other than that you can use by extending and stretching as well so this you can do directly by selecting and doing the extending and you can map with respect to the ends that you can do by adjusting this but fundamentally this particular principle you can use when the dimension will be in associative mode which I have shown in my earlier class so associative watch no so which you have to change to yes then only when you object edit the this definition so initially when you assign the dimension this will also get updated in the same way this is another way of quickly editing your dimensions and also you can edit the dimensions by using different ways dimension you can align to home Alarm to home is something which defaults all the settings. For example, if you go to align text left, so this will be aligned to left. If you go to dimension align text center, it will be at the center. Dimension align text right, this will be the right. Just like that, if you go to dimension align text home, this will be at the default options. home select the object so home locations is something which is the default locations which you can define also so in this way you can test around all these options which you can use you can also rotate the text for example if you go for this particular option which you can get it you go for DD edit select the object here you can assign all the properties whatever you need to change and fundamentally the default properties which you can play around through right click properties here also you can get all the information related to text so lines and arrows you can get the lines and arrows option you can get the text information even you can get the text rotations here you can update it I don't want the text rotation so you can update with 0 so this will be with 0 or whatever the values you need that you can give it so all these informations you can map here and you can play around these options so this is very very important and fundamental different editing principles are there just like that here if you see before editing it was just like this so I want to align this with respect to this edge so how to do this that you have to understand so this particular dimension also has to be aligned to this so you can directly go to dimension oblique and if you select this object and you have to specify the oblique angle 30 90 150 is basically the oblique angles if you go to 30 this is valid for this object so if you select this particular object for editing the dimension go to dimension go to oblique I am selecting this first I will be selecting oblique angle as 30 30 90 150 so that you can always set dimension oblique this particular this is 90 interface 
so you have to specify 90 this is 150 so you have to go to dimension oblique this dimension oblique select the object enter 150 this will be aligned so in this way you can play around this option this will be the initial object so this you have to specify 30 dimension oblique this is the object enter you go for 30 and this is 90 which you have done and final one will be 150 so in this way you can assign your properties oblique this is the object enter oblique angle will be 150 so 150 effectively is not required because for switching to this you need another 30 so that you have to also keep in mind so if you go to the oblique you can just go for 30 because from these locations 30 if you orient that will be aligned to this so 30 for both the surfaces because both are in the same direction and this is for another direction so if you can dimension with respect to this side then probably 150 you may need but here is not required so you can test it for different cases and aligning with 30 90 150 rotations and this type of editing already I have shown so if you are with the defining definition process you can directly go for the prefix and suffix with the text definition so if you select any text definition and go to properties here you can find the text information which you can edit and you can also change as per the requirement so this is the text horizontal whatever the styles you use text alignment is not done positions will be listed rotations and so on text override if you need anything that you can give so override I am interested to go for let us say one mm that you can do it so various ways are there which you can use for editing and you can apply this during your editing principle you can also apply different principle of editing like the one which I have shown and you can also play around the justification which I have shown you and how you can update the dimensions the dimension updation is something which after doing the associativity you can update the properties with the dimension for example if I will show you a very simple case you can understand this when I'll change this particular edge, this not updating. So let me update this with the associative properties. This is with associative yes. And after that, I'll go for dimension update. Right. So when you update the dimensions, you select the object which you want to update. Once you update this, and after changing this it has to associate so go to dimension go to update and reassociate the dimension also select the object to reassociate right first extension is this enter second extension is this enter this associated now if you play around this particular dimensions so this you have to check it that associative is on or not associative uh, associative is no so because of that the problem is happening so you have to go to dimasoc right dimasoc here you can find once you go to dimasoc you have to go to 2 and after selecting this go to properties and change this to so what we'll do is we'll update this dimension linear this to this right click properties associative associative has to come 
to yes dim asok the value is set to 2 go to dimension first object second object go to properties associative it is not updating it has to so what you can do is i will just check with so this is uh, basically associative uh, properties which you can set through dimasoc and associative is set to no so what you can do is you can go for dim asoc and set the values to 2 go to dimension linear and when you apply this and now when you check the properties that will be associative yes now let us say this object we don't have this particular dimension we need to edit and associate to some other object now this both are not interrelated so if you can go to dimension reassociate this select the object to reassociate this is the dimension the extension line is shown here i'll go to select object i'm selecting this object so this is updated to that object and now when you change this is updated and you can go to dimension update this will be attached and updated to all other attached interface so now we we'll look into the general properties of the dimensions which already i have shown like the miscellaneous line arrow text primary units alternative unit tolerance all this you can directly play around the dimensions options and you can set it so we can test it with a particular example to better understand this let us say this is the example where i will be testing and showing you this particular options so let us say this is the dimension for which i am interested to play around the different properties if you can minimize this and you can see the different options which are available these are the options if you go to the tolerance directly you can have the operation symbol or the dec decimal separator tolerance display symmetric or in which way you need to have that you can control through the deviations what about the upper and lower deviation that you can plan it here tolerance position vertical the bottom that you can plan tolerance precision that you can plan so everything you can set it from here if you have the alternate unit also here you can enable it with the bracket you can have the alternative units so everything you can play around from this option and primary unit also you can have from here whatever the decimal separator that you can specify that decimal separator is like dot that you can update here whatever you need and that will be updated to your this space so in this way you can update and play around with your different options which you use and very important and new upgradations which you can find within autocad 2012 that is 2010 onwards is the parametric interface which is very very important for example what exactly parametric interface dodge is if i am going for defining a rectangle and just i will switch on this inferred if i'll go for rectangle this is the first point and the second point you can see all the constants are aligned that means whenever i want to change anything that whenever i'll do that will be with that property so rectangle can always be rectangle just like that if you want to associate a new object which is tangent to this or maybe the distance and all other conditions that directly you can find within your advanced options which is parametric so you can go to geometric constant and you can go to tangent so this and this i need to align with the tangent properties just like that this and this also i need to have a tangenty that you can do 
tangency this with respect to this this also can be aligned so this particular interface parametric you can check with all these different options like concentric collinear vertical horizontal tangent and the complete overview of this you can find in our productivity tools and advanced productivity session and here also you can configure your geometric constant this you can directly find from the drafting setting where you can find all other properties 3d snap object snap you can see the 3d properties you can have dynamic inputs and these are some of the default options which you can find within your options and other than this you can directly get the parametric constant setting where you can do the independent setting so by default all this will be applied when you create the object for the dimensions and auto constant also it takes care automatically when you create the objects and when you want to build a robust model the multiple parameters are associated with your object then you can build the equations and fundamentally you can align them when you build your model and in case of the paper to model space dimension setting you can apply these different options through the dimension setting you can go to dimension and you can go to dimension style you can go to modify and you can see the fit where you can text placement you can align with respect to the dimension line with respect to leaders without leaders arrow justification and for the text also you have independent controls like the horizontal aligned with dimension for symbols you have the arrow controls you have the arrow size you have the center mark you have the arc length symbol configuration and jog also and for ordinary lines you have the configuration for the extension lines for the dimension lines and extension beyond the dimension lines if you have the alternative unit you can set and you can have the alternate unit which i have shown directly you can control through the dialog box you can have the tolerance that also you can control symmetric deviations all this i have shown and you can save this with your current setting or you can create a new settings and you can reuse in your drawing so this ends our editing dimensions exercise and our training thank you